Today on RC Overload, we're going to unbox yet another micro crawler. What's going on guys? Welcome back to RC Overload. I'm Matt from RC Overload, if you guys don't know. <laughs> Today we do have another unboxing for you guys. This is another micro crawler. I'm pretty excited because I just recently built an outdoor micro crawling course, which you guys have probably just recently seen. And so I decided to pick up another micro crawler to have some fun with. This one is even more scale than the previous one. And I am totally stoked and excited for it because I've wanted this since I saw it come out a few months ago. This is the RC four wheel drive. Glende 2 1 18th scale micro crawler. Yes, another small box here on a very large table, but nonetheless, I am stoked for this because of the amount of detail and what it actually has in it, I'm pretty excited for. So what I'm gonna do is bring you guys in a little bit closer here and we're gonna start doing a little unboxing and overview and talk about the truck and what you guys can expect to find when you get one of these. So let's get into it, shall we? So here it is, the Glende 2 1 18th scale performance RC truck with the Defender D90 body set. It is a ready to run truck, uh, so it comes with everything that you need in order to make it run. The only two things you're gonna find in this box that it does not come with is a charger and four AA batteries for the transmitter. So make sure you have a charger for this. Uh, you'll see the connector on the battery when we get this thing open uh, and make sure you obviously have some batteries laying around. Now, one thing I noticed when I was looking at the box is the box does not give a lot of descriptive information other than some specs about what to expect with this truck. Most of the information can actually be found on their website, which I will provide a link down in the description box for you guys. But let's go over the specs here of the actual truck. The overall length of the truck is about eight inches long. The width of the truck is about 4.25 inches. So from the outside of both wheels is about 4.25 inches. The height of the truck is 4.74 inches and the wheelbase is 5.14 inches. Sorry, wheelbase. <laughs> now you'll notice on the back of this box, I know it's kind of, you can't really see it, but all those numbers are actually in millimeters. So I've already pre-calculated what the actual inches are from millimeters for you guys, uh, since inches are a little bit easier. Now the body is, black do not think that it's red obviously <laughs> but this body is paintable so you can paint that which we'll get into here a little bit more now the only other thing that you're going to notice is on the side here it does tell you that it is a 4x4 truck uh, and it does come with a set of beadlock wheels for it on the bottom tells you it comes with the XR2 micro radio which is a small handheld controller you guys will see that when we open it and the RC four-wheel drive 2s 850 milliamp lipo battery so now that we've covered that let's get into this and open it up all right so I have already pre-cut this actually on both sides to make life a little bit easier and Let's pop the truck out first. Sliding this over there for the moment. There's the truck. It's actually got some good weight to it. Now the truck comes right off the stand here. And these corners just pop right off. And of course the truck slides right out. Let's take a quick look at this. We'll go into more detail here in a few minutes. This thing is pretty cool. The detail in this is unbelievable, honestly, for such a small truck. But let's see what else we got in this. Now underneath the truck is the instructions manual tells you what tools are required for this. 
uh, as well as some important information regarding the batteries and warranty and all that fun stuff. And it gives you a lot of detailed exploded views of each individual part and piece that's in it. So that way, if you do take it apart, you can put it back together. Now, let's get into the other half of this box. Let's see, can we get this out? Ugh, struggling. Wow, that was a lot tougher than it looked. All right, so we have a box which should have everything in it. All right, so the first things first is the transmitter. Now, I was actually expecting something a little bit smaller. This is actually not bad at all. It's got a nice little grip for the thumb. And the overall grip itself is actually pretty wide. Now, most microcontrollers, you know, a little more on the uncomfortable side for an adult. Kids more comfortable, but this is actually not bad. Now, let's pop this open. Aha. And as you can see, we have all of our adjustments, our steering, our throttle adjustments, and our reversing switches. Uh, and it looks like there's also a low battery light as well, right up in the upper right hand corner. And the on and off switch is right here as well at the bottom. Steering wheel is a plastic wheel. Seems to be pretty good though, seems pretty solid. And that's pretty much it. The batteries go here on the side. Like I had mentioned, you need four AA batteries for this. And let's see what else we got inside of this box. Looks like a strap for the battery. And you know, let's just dump this out. Nothing else in there. And it looks like they gave us some spare servo horns. A couple of different varieties. Another package of parts. Looks like possibly accessories that you can put onto this truck. That's pretty cool. Probably getting more of this here later on. And I'm going to assume that in this box is the battery. Aha. Put that over there, put that over there. Yep, the 850, get you guys a little bit closer here. The 850 milliamp 2S LiPo battery. Now this is a soft pack. As you can tell, both packs are exposed inside of there. And it uses just a JST connector. So make sure you have the female end to this so you can charge it. And that is it. So we have the truck, the battery, Velcro strap, some accessories, servo horns, and the transmitter. Pretty cool. But let's get more into this guy here. Let's see what this guy entails. So taking a closer look at this truck, I mean, I've already looked at it a little bit here before I started filming, and I gotta say that I am extremely impressed with the quality of this truck in general. I mean, you're basically getting, for the most part, the same quality out of this 1 18th scale truck that you would normally get in a 1 10th scale truck. Looking at the body, this is a hard plastic body. So also known as just a hard body. Uh, this is entirely paintable, so you can paint this body. I know it looks like it's painted black, but that's just the plastic. There is so much detail here. I mean, it's incredible for such a small truck, the amount of detail. You got rivets in the back, and hopefully you guys can see that. Here, I'll try to get a glare to show it. Rivets in the back, door handles. I mean, it, it's incredible. Wiper blades, mirrors, the headlights. I mean, there's even a fan behind the grill. That is really cool. The windows are a plastic clear window, so they are not glass, so don't worry. Um, but you'll notice underneath even the detail as in the third mirror that's right there. You guys are probably wondering how to remove this body since it doesn't use body clips. For those of you that have never dealt with a hard body before, 
or have never seen this truck before. <laughs> In the front and in the rear are screw holes, right? Oops, sorry, there's screw holes. So you actually screw the body to the frame of the truck. There's no body pins, nothing like that. So it keeps more of a scale appearance instead of having body posts come out through the hood here or even in the back. Moving on from the body, we have the chassis, which like I said, it is extremely well built. There's no play in this, and that's all due to the aluminum frame rail that it's got here on both the left and right side. Even the cross braces are also all aluminum. I mean, the whole truck is either steel or aluminum, uh, except for the ESC and the servo, basically. Now, I've already gone ahead and I put the strap in the back, so you guys could kind of get an idea as to how the strap goes in place. It just goes right around the rear frame support, basically, and holds the battery in there. Looking at the drivetrain here, let, you know, let's talk about the drivetrain, what it's got in it, because I know some of you guys like to know the specs about these things. This is the R5 transmission, also a combined transfer case. has all steel internal gears, and it does have a 15 to 1 gear ratio. The pinion on the brushed motor is a 10 tooth pinion gear, uh, and then it goes out to the steel drive shafts, right? These drive shafts are completely steel. And they do have little mini U-joints, well, what looks like a little scale U-joint in there. The axles themselves, these are the Yoda 2 axles, just scaled down. They are the 124th scale Yoda 2 axles, I should say. <laughs> the pumpkin or the diff cover is removable, okay? So you can get access to the gears inside. You just got to remove the screws that go around it. In the front, you'll notice that the pumpkin is offset uh, to help with the steering a little bit. Uh, and the ground clearance seems to be very, very good, actually. I can fit my whole hand under there for this size of a vehicle. So, nice ground clearance. Uh, it does also feature an 8 degree uh, front hub assembly. The steering shafts on it. Oops, sorry. Ooh, focus, come on now. <laughs> the front steering shafts are hardened steel. Uh, so there should be no play in that whatsoever. And speaking of the suspension, it has a four-link front and rear setup. It also has the chassis-mounted servo like you guys are seeing right here. And the shocks are 40 millimeter shocks, tiny little suckers. Uh, but they are dual spring rate setup, so it's got two springs internally in here, and it is oil-filled to help with the dampening. Now, RC Four Wheel Drive did mention on their website that these are the oil inside these shocks are non-replaceable. It's a sealed unit, so you can't replace the oil in it. And to give you guys a better look here, even at the bumpers, these are aluminum as well for lightweight, very thin for better ground clearance. I mean, the shock towers are aluminum as well. Like I said, the whole truck is just solid. You guys, a little bit of a close-up here of the underside. Lots of open spaces. Very open under here. Let's, uh, let's talk about the electronics here real quick. The features a brushed motor, just a basic micro brushed motor on this. The receiver and ESC is all built into one. As you can see, the battery and the motor leads go right into the top here in these white plugs. The servo gets mounted up on the driver's side here. Does not, I do not see a spear, spare port for anything extra to be put on it. No, there's no extra port on this. Uh, but looking up close, you have your, hopefully that'll focus in. On and off switch is right at the top along with a bind button, okay? The servo itself is a micro servo. It's a nine gram uh, servo non-waterproof okay so it's not waterproof and the receiver is also not waterproof and of course you have your antenna which just kind of folds down like so and to show you guys the battery battery like i had mentioned before just gets mounted right in the back and then plugs right in like so maybe create a zip tie or something like that now rc four wheel drive has also pre-zip tied all the wires throughout the chassis here and made everything look nice and neat so it was all tucked together. Uh, talking about the tires here because I know I haven't mentioned about those. These are a set of steel beadlock 
wheels, okay? So it's a two-piece rim design squished together once you tighten down the screws to hold the tire in place. The tires are a set of dirt grabber tires. They kind of look something almost like a set of BFG tires. Let's see if we can get that to focus in as well. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. They seem very squishy, and I believe there are foams inside of these tires. Okay. The rim size and the tire size is a one inch setup. So it's not a 1.9, it's not a 2.2, it's a one inch. All right. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the unboxing and overview of this little tiny micro truck, which I, like I said before, I'm excited to try this thing out. It looks extremely cool and badass. So, like I said, that's it for now. If you guys have any questions regarding what you guys saw in the video or you wanna know more about something on this truck and what you get inside of it, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll leave all the links in the description below. And if you wanna find out even more information about this truck, you can check out this link right here that'll bring you straight to the RC four wheel drive website where you can learn everything about this little guy. All right, stay tuned, you guys. We're going to take this out to the crawling course and see how well it does. See you guys next time on the next RC Overload.